down. I'm hunting. I've always heard about the wide range of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt, and it looks like it's true. No, I'm a chef. A chef on a mission to find rare and exotic ingredients from all corners of the world. My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? Hello, my name's Paimon. Paimon! Why are you looking at me like that? What an exotic creature. Is it edible? No, for the last time, Paimon is not emergency food! You seem like good friends. I have a good friend too, called Goba. Isn't that the name of a Liyue snack? <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. Anyway, can you do some hunting for me? There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. I can't catch anything to save my life, and I don't want to miss out. Oh, sounds like a bit of an ordeal. Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack later. <gasps> Ooh, you had me a tasty snack. Don't worry, we're the bestest hunters ever. <laughs> don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Great! Then I'll leave you to it. <sighs> That's more like it. Keep up with me! How well it goes with sign condensate. Yay! You have finally come around to my food preferences! Uh, sorry. I got all excited thinking about new recipes. As promised, a tasty snack. Go on, try it. And tell me what you think. Are we your food testers now? Oh gosh, this is delicious! Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure! The only thing is I haven't written down the recipe yet. Hmm... I got it! I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some boar fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. There's still plenty left. <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something new. But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Give me a second while I get everything ready. Hey, what do you think? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Oh, I get it. The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. If they all ran off, it would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind. I'm sorry. I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> ah, 
You should apologize to Draff. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. I made a mistake, and I should go and apologize. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Draff ought to be in Springvale. Let's go! <laughs> Must be Xiang Ling. Sorry, Mr. Traff. This was all my fault. I heard the whole story. And now that you're here in person. Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. Please help me promote my meat. Huh? Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I asked Alan to send you over. Maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wanmin Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liwei Harbor. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best-loved dishes in all of Liyue. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. With a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. Hmm... I don't know. I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients, and I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... <laughs> I mean, couldn't you add something a bit more normal? There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. <laughs> Food cooked like that is destined to be boring. Period. <sighs> well, since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. You know, we did come to apologize. Couldn't you be a little more flexible? <sighs> it's one thing to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to change the way I approach cooking. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous! Hello! May I have a taste of your delicious cooking? Sorry, I've taken all the orders I can for the next few days. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? Wow, it must be delicious if it's that popular. Yeah, good point. Why does Draft want Zhang Ling to help when Springville already has this lady? Hmm, maybe he feels that Mondstadt cuisine can't compete with that of Tavat's biggest business hub, Luya Harbor. But I disagree. I don't think my cooking is at all inferior to anyone else's. Well then, show me what you got. Maybe I could give you some feedback. Sorry, but customer feedback like, Oh, that tasted good, is no use to me. If I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional chef. <gasps> Hang on, are you... Sheng Ling? That's me! <gasps> it's really you! Well... I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat, then. As it happens, I have one of today's prime cuts remaining. So tell me, how would you cook this? 
That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, some joyun chili, and kingsen flour. Kingsen flour? But the melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when eaten raw. It would overpower everything. I know. That's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. I've tried it before. If you baste the petals in oil and then cook them with the right heat and duration, it gets rid of the bitterness completely and leaves you with a lovely crispy topping. Then throw in some joyun chilies grown at a high altitude where the low humidity and varying temperatures lends them a unique dry heat. The petals absorb the saltiness from the sea salt, the chili spice, and the umami of the tender freshly grilled steak while also adding a floral aftertaste. Uh that's pure overkill. You're going all out on the trimmings and doing no justice to the meat whatsoever. Who wants to eat a roast when you can taste everything except the roast? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop arguing. <laughs> well, there's only one surefire way out of a cooking dispute. I declare a cook-off. Suits me. If you can't beat my cooking, it'll show that draft was clearly wrong about you. All right. But if I win, you have to use my winning dish to promote Springvale. And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wanmin menu. With a caption saying, This special addition to the Wanmin menu is generously provided by Chef Brooke of Springvale. Meat expert. Hmm. It's a deal! I'm off to get ingredients. I will see you Wait! Wait! Let's try and catch up. I think we're getting close. Have you decided what you're looking for yet? No, of course not. Then how are you so sure of yourself? That's just my style. If I decided in advance exactly how I was going to cook something, there'd be no element of surprise to the dish. In the same way, if I knew what I was looking for before I found it, it wouldn't be a surprise. But that's so risky! Relax. This is how I came up with all the signature dishes at Wanmin Restaurant. Let's look around here. I'll let you know when I find something I like. Bet you can't keep up with me! but those little fellas pack quite a punch. From what I've observed, spicy food is a rarity in Monsat, so this will be perfect. Go and pick some. Get a good handful. I still feel like we're lacking something. It's missing a little... Boom shakalaka. Yeah, now that you mention it, it is a little boom 
Boom shakalaka lacking. <laughs> Brooke may be a stickler for convention, but she is a talented chef nonetheless. There's no doubt she will source the fanciest quality ingredients. To win this will take a truly mind-blowing dish. Something like sea serpent salad, stir-fried kings in flour, or wild mushrooms in a rich slime jus. Ah, uh, a slime jus? <laughs> I know how weird it sounds, but I guarantee you it tastes incredible. I'll make some for you next time. <laughs> you won't be disappointed when you taste it. Although it looks a teensy bit gross. Never mind that. I just remembered there's somewhere I never checked out last time. My gut tells me that's where we'll hit the jackpot. Let's take a look! <laughs> so... so cold. He's shivering. We need to warm him up quick. Make a fire! Hot soup would be even better. How about I look after him while you make him a nice warm bowl of soup? We passed a hillitrol camp on the way here. There'll almost certainly be a campfire there to cook on. Great! Be as quick as you can! Mm. Oh, that is better. Thank you. That soup really did the trick. Yes. I was chasing a boar. And after chasing him all this way, he slipped into those underground ruins over there. I followed him inside, but ran into a cryo regis vine. It froze me instantly. When I woke up, I ran straight outside, but... I only made it this far before my strength failed me. How big was it exactly? They do now. I'd heard of them before from others, but this was the first time seeing one with my own eyes. Yikes! We should definitely keep our distance from the ruins. It sounds dangerous. It sounds delicious! That's it! The missing ingredients! The icing on the cake! Calm down! Can we really eat a tree that's that aggressive? Only one way to find out! Let's go! <sighs> Off she goes again. Do not worry about me. I'll be fine. But you must stop her. She is putting herself in grave danger. fresh for yeah. long.
going before they expire. Yeesh. She's quite the fighter. Seems foraging for ingredients takes more than just luck. Closer. Urine for a little shock. Freeze. Ah! Urine for a little shock. <laughs> Urine for a little shock. 
<laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Yep. <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Huh? <laughs> Closer. Yep. Goba, get them. Yikes! Look over there. The icicles of the air are falling. Uh, let's be careful not to get hit. It will definitely hurt. boar that went extinct 300 years ago. Wow! How is this one still alive after so long? Could be. I read that this boar was hunted to extinction because its meat was so highly prized. Condensate of jumbo cryoslime and extinct boar? Not one, but two priceless treasures! Right! Now let's get back to Springvale! Huh. Huh. 
Uh, are you sure this is Springvale? Uh, yes, for the millionth time, yes. But I don't know any of the people you're looking for. That is not possible. They all live in Springvale. They are my neighbors and friends. This is strange. What is going on? What is it? What? Can humans really live that long? Uh, does that really make sense? Oh, like the way that you keep food fresh. Still, it's hard to believe. But it doesn't seem like there's any other sensible explanation. Okay, so what's your... Olaf. Olaf? Oh, I'm sure I've seen that on my family tree. I can't remember which generation it was from, but it was definitely on there. So, a great-great-great-great-grandfather, but with a whole lot more greats? What an unusual turn of events. <laughs> Reunited at long last! Isn't that just amazing? Uh, Olaf, do you want to come and watch a cooking competition? Ah, yes, that reminds me. Brooke told me about the competition, and I've set everything up at the venue. You should come with me. ready. Oh, and Sigfria will be my assistant for the competition. Then let the cooking commence. I will be your judge today. And don't worry, I may have known Brooke for longer, but I will remain entirely impartial. Much appreciated. Well then, Traveler, Paimon, prepare! Wait, we're taking part in this too? Of course! If Brooke has an assistant, you guys will have to be mine! I'll need you by my side when the going gets tough. Ah, <sighs> Paimon doesn't remember applying for that job. Okay, Paimon will do it for the sake of the food! Our first problem is ingredients. We need something special to dress up the steak, but I don't have anything suitable here. Hmm... I've got it! Radish is what we need. Mashed or grated, it'll add a touch of freshness. And we can carve little flowers out of it as a garnish. Two birds, one stone. Go find me a radish. There should be some in the area. Oh, and make sure you wash it because it's going straight into the dish. Come on! Let's wash the radish in the lake! Ah! Slimes! Scared the bejesus out of Paimon! This is way too close to the venue! What if they stir up trouble during the competition? Uh, I don't think we should risk it. Go get them!
this is practically charcoal now. Oh, I'm gonna have to start from scratch. Also, I'm thinking our mane is a little weak. We need to mix it up a bit. Make me a mushroom chicken skewer. And make sure it's got that ooh-la-la on the outside. Then hits you with the cha-ching in the middle. Just make it taste friggin' awesome! track, but we're aiming for perfection here, and I just think it lacks a certain... A certain what? A certain... Boom Shakalaka! Yes! Definitely needs some Boom Shakalaka! Or perhaps a little Shakalaka Boom Pow! I just mean it would be a waste of such amazing ingredients to just serve this as is. Let me see... Hmm, what would be ideal is some kind of regional specialty. Regional specialty? Yes, something that's native to this area but isn't often used in cooking. I don't care if it flies, crawls, or bounces. Even insects I can work with. Uh, interesting choice. Hmm, I'm sure I can make something of it. All right, then. Thanks, you guys. Now show me what you got. Uh, do you really want to add that? It's a little odd. It'll be fine. This was an excellent find, guys. Now, if you'll excuse me, Chef Xiangling needs to concentrate. But I'll be sure to annoy you again if I need anything else. <laughs> it looks like Xiangling's main dish is almost done. Let's go and see. I almost forgot. Side dish. We need a side dish. Are you sure it's no trouble? Here, take this. I just scrolled it down at the last minute. And here are all the ingredients you need. Is this the recipe for that snack you gave us earlier? Yes, with some minor improvements so it uses up the leftover ingredients from Liwe. This is so complicated. How are we supposed to cook this with no experience? The technique doesn't matter. What matters is that you do it with passion. And that's what my father taught me. And you must be passionate about cooking if you've helped me this much already. I trust you guys. I know you'll nail this side dish. Confident. I like it. Come on, this is the final push. Competition is ours. <sighs> this was a fine feast. I have dined today like I have never dined before. Both chefs' dishes today were nothing short of exceptional. They were true masterpieces, and that is what makes this an extremely difficult decision. But this is a competition, and there can only be one winner, and that winner is... 
Shang Ling. Whoopee! I win! <sighs> I thought I was sure to win with pork chops so fresh they were practically still grunting. But it turns out that's still no match for the taste of extinct boar. Uh, uh, excuse me? Did you say this was cooked from extinct boar? Yep! Every last bit! My goodness. A single mouthful must be worth a hundred thousand mora. The amount you'd make if you sold this could support every hunter in town for years to come. <laughs> the main thing is that you enjoyed eating it. I don't care about the mora. Anyway, now our judge has given his verdict, it's time for everyone else to eat too. I made plenty! Meanwhile, I want to try Brooke's dish. Mmm. <gasps> This is absolutely delicious! I'll admit it, I was beaten by the best. Losing is no fun, but it was worth it for the chance to eat such superb cooking. Please, Shanling, I want some more. This is gorgeous, too! Such a perfectly layered texture! Were it not for that exquisite boar and excellent side dish, it's hard to say if I still would have won. Paimon's turn to eat! Hmm. I will have a taste, too. Oh, my, oh, my. This is... This is the taste of Springvale. Or rather... It used to be. This is the last time I will be able to taste the food of my era. Hey, now. Cheer up. If you like the taste, I can always make you some more. Really? But the boar, it's extinct. The boar may be, but the taste isn't. I can simply recreate it using different ingredients. Putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. Thank you. <laughs> a good time was had by all. But everyone's gone now. Let's go and say goodbye to Xiong Ling. Thanks, you guys! Without your help, I don't know how it would have gone today. And without you, Paimon wouldn't have gotten to try so many new tasty snacks. Also wouldn't have gotten so full. Not sure. I'll probably start heading back to Liyue, but I might change my plan on the way. I don't like to plan things too thoroughly. Who knows? Maybe you'll bump into me out in the wild again. Must be nice to be so carefree. You are a gifted chef. You made an amazing batch of jade parcels. Come and visit me at the Wanmin restaurant sometime. I did promise I'd cook for you. And if you want, I'll teach you how to cook some of my latest inventions, too. It's a deal. <laughs> See you again soon.